So you see me, right? Good. I was just making sure. I was just giving you a little time to make your assumptions about me. Look at me. So as you can see, I am a girl. I'm black. I'm young. Depending on your age, you must think I'm young. And I'm pretty. Or at least, I think I'm pretty. So there are so many assumptions in the world, not just about race and ethnicity, but also about gender, shapes, size, and everything else. A well-known one about gender is that men are stronger than women. I completely disagree with this. It all depends on your definition of strength. Another one is that real men don't cry. Well, if that's the case, then my sister would be considered a real man. <laughs> As you can see, there are so many other assumptions in the world. There's one even about music, such as country music is only for Texans or Southerners, or classical music is only for rich old people who live in fancy mansions. <laughs> now, let's get into the science of all this. I know, I know, no one likes homework. That's why you came here. But it'll all be over soon, I promise. So, why do we tend to judge people? Well, I be scientists believe we do this because of our insecurities and self-consciousness about ourselves. And I believe that's kind of true. Of course, I have made assumptions about people in my life now and again, and I've constantly tried to stop that myself. But I believe if we look at this in a different way, such as in a mirror of sorts, we can see people in a different way as well. So, I just want to do a little experiment. Look at the people around you, one right next to you or the person around you, and come up with the first assumption you think of them. Now, look at yourself in a mirror. Think of the first assumption that they would think of you. What I'm trying to say here is think unto others as you would want others to think unto you. A good example of this is in countries. So let's just say a good example is Asians. Many people think that Asians are really, really good at math. And I do believe this is true, but I have a little confession. A few years ago, I was friends with this Asian girl, and I got a better grade in her in my overall math score. And another one is that Indian parents are really strict. Well, I have a friend, and her parents are the most chill people you have ever met in your entire life. Another one is about right here in Texas. Now, my sister went to Italy for a little host family thing, and her host sister asked her, do you ride horses to school? <laughs> well, no, we do not. That is what vehicles are for. <laughs> my mother was asked, and she went to college in England, do you know JR? If you don't know who JR is, he's one of the main stars in the hit TV show Dallas. Another one is for America. People really think that Americans are really arrogant and that we expect everyone to speak English. As you may know, some of these assumptions are true for some people, but not for everyone. Now, as you remember, I said that I was black, a girl, and all those other things. Now, from those assumptions that you might have made, you can come up with a few more. You might think I'm stuck up since I said that I was pretty. Or maybe you might think I like rap music or a word that my family likes to use, people might think I'm bougie. <laughs> now, this is completely incorrect. I think I'm a kind-hearted person. I do, do not like rap music. I can listen to it at some points, but it's just not my thing. And I am not bougie. Now, I want to tell you a little story. My sister goes to this college in downtown Fort Worth, and she was given an assignment slash experiment of some sorts to come up with the first assumption that she thought of the person in the room, based on their ethnicity, if they had a ring on their finger, their hair colors, things like that. She was made of assumption of because she was wearing a beanie. Someone thought she had a weird hobby. Now, she really doesn't have a weird hobby. She's completely normal, in my opinion. So when she came home that day, she said to me, if she had never even known me, she would have thought that I was Regina George. Now, if you don't know who Regina George is, she's basically the mean girls of all mean girls. <laughs> she was in the movie Mean Girls. <laughs> but this was completely contradictory to what my friend said to me at school. So I'm a cheerleader at my high school, and my friend said, you're a cheerleader? You really don't act like one. This made me think that I gave off two perceptions on myself. 
This also made me think that people see people in different ways, not just about who they are, but also about the assumptions, such as the mean cheerleader, the dumb blonde, or the nerd at the front of the room. Now, let's talk about this. So, as you may know, I'm pretty contradictory to my own self. So, let's just say, let me just tell you about myself. My name is Savannah Antoine. People like to call me Rose. I'm a 14-year-old girl. I go to a very nice high school. Everyone's really friends with me. I'm a cheerleader. I have a really large family, actually. I have five brothers who are all in their 40s. One's about to turn 50. Now, that's kind of weird. I've also been playing the piano for 11 years. Crazy, right? And I bet you would have never expected me to be accepted into one of the best music high schools in the country at only the age of 10. Now, I did do an analogy of a mirror, but I want to do an analogy of something a little bit more close to home. So let's look at this piano. So let's think of assumptions. Let's think of every note is one assumption. So as you may know, I'm a girl. I'm black. I'm young. And I am pretty. <laughs> now, as you may know, four notes of a song do not make up the entire song. It's the exact same for people. Four assumptions that you make up of a person is not the whole person themselves. Now I want to show you who I truly am. Now you can see me. Wow. <laughs>